it took my breath away. Everything that I saw, I was just in awe of what I was seeing. My name's Hannah. I study physical geography at the University of Hull. We've recently come back from a field trip to Iceland and it's just taught us all so much. We were looking at glaciology, volcanology, we were looking at all the different features that are so rare and can only be seen in Iceland. It looks very barren and all of a sudden something will just rise up out of nowhere and all of a sudden there'll be a volcano in front of you or there'll be a huge mountain at the side of you or there'll be a valley or there's a glacier and you just think, wow, <laughs> it's incredible. So you can say, oh, I know what a glacier looks like. It's not until you stand on one and realise that you're in probably the most dangerous situation that you've ever been in, how unforgiving it can be. But that experience now, we can understand fully what these things are, what these volcanoes can do, and listening to people's experiences. You can learn how that landscape interacts with people. So it's not just a landscape, it's a lifestyle for some people. It's not just in a textbook, it's actually people's lives. And that's what we got to see hands on, which obviously when we're learning about it, helps you majorly in understanding all these processes and you can read about them, but it's not until you experience them that you can fully understand them. We had to get up at about seven, so it's not too bad, but we're all knackered after yesterday. So we're all feeling refreshed and ready to go. You keep a field workbook. So anything that we, you feel important, you write down. And now we can look back at it and see everything that we did, what we were thinking at the time, the weather conditions, the time that we were there, the direction we were facing even. So it is a detailed, journal of what you were doing. We took all the data that we collected in Iceland and we were able to use that when we got home and made our own individual projects and reports and group report as well. Our group research project was about uh, the interaction between volcanology and glaciology within the whole of Iceland. But we thought we'd focus it around where we actually went. So the glacier that we stood on, we noticed that there were all these cones of ice. That's what we focused our project on. And we ended up finding out so much information from that. If we didn't see that in the field, I don't think I'd have even questioned that as a research topic. There are so many memorable moments, but the main one for me is the Blue Lagoon. The vast blue water that we were just bathing in. It was so warm and you got out and it's freezing, then you get back in and it's boiling. But the other things that I would say definitely stood out were the glacier walking. That is one thing that I don't think I will ever do again in my life. And the waterfalls are the most spectacular thing you'll ever see. It takes your breath away. Skogafoss waterfall was one of the best things that I've ever seen in my life. We're standing at the top of Skogafoss waterfall. This waterfall is absolutely incredible. You just stand there and you look at it and think this is just incredible. The world is incredible. Like Nature is incredible. But that's one of the main reasons why I did geography as well, because nature is incredible and I want to learn more about it.